Hi, welcome to automation testing in. in this video, we are going to discuss about adding classes to testng.xml file. Like uh, you, you have a uh, project, you will create so many Java files. Each Java file will consider as a class in testng.xml file. If you want to execute single Java file, you have to mention that is in uh, testng.xml file as a class. Now we'll see a sample example, how we'll add uh, write classes and how we'll add those into testng.xml file. I have a uh, project here and I have three different packages here. You can say like, I have a first package, com.testng.first package, com.testng.second package, com.testng.third package. Now each package has two different Java files. First class in first Java dot uh, first package in Java, second class in first package dot Java. And each will have a single method and that is printing something under the console for an example. So like this, I have three packages and three into two classes, six classes I have here. So I want to execute these classes from the testng.xml file. How you will do? Uh, this scenario. This is very simple that you just right click on this testng, convert to testng. As you can see that there is a uh, tag called classes. In that classes you have to mention a tag called class name and you give the fully name, full name of your class means with the package name. This way you can execute classes. Now you have different classes, means six different classes. How you will execute six different classes in single testng.xml file? It is very simple. You just copy paste one more line and change the name of this. This way you can execute all these classes. Means you can execute packages also. Instead of writing these three, six classes, you can give these three packages name and you can execute. But sometimes there is a scenario you have to execute only uh, some of the classes from one package, some of the classes from another package. Instead of executing all the package, you have to uh, execute only some of the classes from the package. So you can achieve that in this way. Now we'll create a sample testng.xml file using classes. We'll see. Instead of writing L, convert to testng.xml file. See, if you, if you select package, it will show all the classes which are there under this package. And I'll say finish. It created this one. Now I want to write the same way for th these things also. Instead of writing what I'll do, convert to testng, I'll copy from here and I'll paste here only these classes. I'll do for the third package also, testng, convert to testng. I'll just copy this two and I'll cancel this and then paste in the existing testng.xml file. Now I have all six classes, means classes, in the classes tag, you have to use class, and you have to give the name of that class name, means Java file name. I have did for all these six. Now we will execute this one using testng.xml, test and run as testng suite. Now we'll see the output. Right, it is executing system.out.println from the all six classes, and if you see here, it executed all the classes. You see, the same way what we have put here, it is showing this all these things as executed and passed. This way, you can execute classes from the testng.xml file simply. Uh, that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Automation Testing Channel and please like us at our Facebook page.